right tackle pad of the Philadelphia Eagles. Winston Justice joining us here on Sirius NFL Radio. What's happening, Winston? Hey, how you doing? Uh, thanks for having me on. Yeah, My pleasure, for being Winston. with us. You're a player rep, bud. Talk about uh, what just went down. You know, uh, you know, it's it's uh, everyone knows that um, you know we decertified, and um, we are uh, that's something we we voted on during the season, and um, after the season, I got I got another vote uh, with with Eagles, and um, we're behind D. Smith and the you know NFL a hundred percent, and um, we feel that the, we they have our best interest in mind, and um, they they really. Uh, uh, listen to what the players want, and um, you know they—they they really are, are, are fighting for the you know I, I feel the betterment of the NFL. Um, you decertify, you don't have a union anymore. D. Smith's not your boss. Oh, I mean, I mean, he he wasn't our boss beforehand. You know, uh, he was ahead of the union. He was your leader. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Just just because you have a union doesn't mean he's into the boss, the players. You know, it's, well, he's, he's, he's not head of what, union. What role will he play now that you don't have a union? But what role would he play? Well, he'll he'll be more of a ad advisor, I guess. Uh, he's he'll advise players what to do, and uh, uh, and not only not not only him. I mean, the whole NFLPA would uh, you know, do that. Um, um, I think. Um, I but think there is no NFLPA. Uh, well, the NFLPA that was formerly there. So yeah. it's really not going away, is it? Uh, well, it, it is. It is going away. Oh. I'm confused. Hello? I'm here. Hello? I just, yeah. Winston, I'm confused whether you either have a union or you don't have a union. You know, decertification says there's no union. There's, there is no union, yeah. You're right. Okay. And if you plan on getting right back when it deals together, does is the decertification even valid at that point? And that's what you know that's going to be right up next up on the docket in terms of the court battle. Yeah, we don't we don't know if that's even that's even the next move though to to uh, get back together as a uh, union. Um, right now, I mean, uh, being decertified is the best thing for us, um, you know, as as players. Um, we, we we're not even um, thinking about after um, you know after we um, get back together as a union. So, when, uh, explain why it's the best thing, Wes. I think we got a lot of listeners that are going to want to know where that logic came from, and and, and maybe you can. Uh, in, do something here that'll enlighten all of us. What um, logic of what? The why you decertified? Why did we decertify? Yeah. Why is why that, didn't you in keep your talking? Mind, your your best option rather than continuing to sit at the bargaining table to talk. Uh, the best option because um, uh, that's a that's a leverage tool that um, we have and uh, we could use. Uh, you know, um, um, the players that. Um, that are, that are supposed to be in free agency this year is, is, are really um, uh, getting a, getting a bad deal because uh, they were supposed to be free agents and now this this happened and and, and you know they they they're, they're going to lose um, a lot of um, the income that they have during their uh, career and you know a, a NFL career is really short so um, you know one uh, one or two years of uh, being tenured can really affect uh, you know the the income of um, uh, uh, player. What, what about if it's a year of no football at all? Hopefully, it doesn't have to come to that. I don't think both sides want. I don't, I don't think either sides want. There's no want. doubt. Nobody wants that. But we could be no, tied up does, in yeah. court for a long time, Winston. I mean, could, but no, nobody wants that. I mean, it's not. The nobody player. wants it. It's but not, what if it happens? Then, then, not, then why? Why? And and just. Winston, if nobody wants it, and I know decertification and the the ability to to block a potential lockout and all that, but. It sounded, and, and again, we're just listening to what we heard yeah. from the NFL statement. It sounds like they made yeah. some big concessions that would at least yeah. warrant more conversation rather than right to litigation. Look, uh, from the beginning, it's not the NFL players that are locking the NFL owners out. We're not on strike. It's the, player, it's the NFL owners that are locking the uh, Nobody's players gotten out. locked out. Like Nobody's we, gotten locked out, Winston. Yeah, it, well, it's the, play, it's the NFL owners that are upset. With uh, how the deal is going, how the deal is now, um, it's not to control uh, uh, players. Um, we like to deal how how it it is, you know. And and it's not us asking for something different. It's not us um, wanting to change anything. Um, they were they asked Pesh, uh, "You're going to lock him out?" He says that decision's not even been made yet. "Quote unquote," yeah, it's a shared failure. Uh, on both sides, 
But, again, my question was, what happens if this litigation takes us all the way into the season and guys aren't getting paid because they're not playing football? You know, it's 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 going to be tough. Um, um, hopefully, again, it doesn't come like, come like that, but I think we are – we're the people in the NFL right now, and the NFL people right now in the NFL are not just fighting for um, uh, you know the players now; they're fighting for the you know the betterment of players in the future. Um, I think um, people have to keep that in mind too. What about the retired guys, Winston? What do you mean? I'm sorry. Uh, how about helping those guys and and just kind of listening to what possibly what some of the concessions were to to kick a fund for these guys to give them a 60 percent increase in their pension fund yeah um, that sounds pretty important to me yeah i mean I, I i mean they i think the two sides uh came close but i mean uh you can't uh offer someone less and then give them uh, a couple scraps and then say well take it take it or 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 leave it and this is how it is. I don't think they're treating us like, um, uh, like, um, like, like a people. I think they're treating us more like um, uh, products. What about you know? the idea to offer up the? And again, it's what the the statement from the the owners or from the, mm. the league that they had offered up five years of club by club financial information that could have gone to an independent firm. You know, uh, the people that uh, are doing uh, the uh, negotiations with us acts acts for 10 so if if the nfl uh, was 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 being trans transparent i mean what's the difference between five and ten i mean uh, i don't know you tell us why you why tell me you, yeah why'd you want 10 versus five you know I, I, you know the people in negotiating again wanted 10 uh so uh there must be a reason behind that uh, it, it, it shows it just gives them more information uh, uh in um information that they can't find in five and uh um, you know, so if the NFL is not transparent about that, I mean, it it, it um it, it it makes no it makes no sense to really negotiate more if they're not uh, open about um you know where where they're at financially. Do you think there's a better outcome for the players by going to litigation and leaving uh, negotiation? Uh. You know, again, we we are behind the uh, we we are behind um, you know the, the people negotiating for us, and um, if uh, if they thought this was the best thing, uh, you know, we are we are behind them. You know, we uh, we we all voted for this uh, during the season, and we voted for it after. So, uh, you know, I feel that we're behind. I mean, we still we still feel the same way, and this is the best way, uh, uh, given the given the situation that we're in. Let's do it. One football question, then I'm done. And I appreciate you coming on with us. You're a good guy, Winston. Um, how, how are you going to stay in football shape? Stay in football shape. Um, I'm gonna, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, you know, work out like, um, like a, like I always do. Um, uh, I always trained with uh, my uh, trainer in uh, Cherry Hill, New Jersey, uh, Steve Saunders, uh, um, from Power Train. So that, that's basically what I'm gonna do. Um, it'll give me some extra time to, you know. Get get stronger, uh, extra time, uh, you know. Get 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 healthy, and um, that's you put how. Put a lot of weight uh, on your back. You put a lot of weight on your back in the off season, getting ready to get those legs strong. Oh yeah, always. Yeah, yeah. What yeah, if you blow a you disc have, out? Yeah, people squat then. Huh? What if you blow out a disc this off season. Oh I, yeah, I, I'm not gonna blow out a disc. I, I'm good. I hope I hope you don't blow out a disc this off season. Um, I've already got a couple blown out from the National Football League, bro. <laughs> All right. It's not good. Warren, well, I, I mean, Winston, seriously, I mean, if you, you probably won't blow out a disc, but what if you do yeah. have an injury? If I do have an injury, that's, that's uh, you know, that's that, that's a problem. You know, we have, um, we, we have to pay for our own insurance, you know, now. And, um, How about the non-football uh, injury list that you'll go on? The non-football injury list, uh um, you know that's something the players gonna have to, just gonna have to deal with. This is the risk that we're gonna have to take. Um, um, you know, guys should um, you know, we're trying to get guys to be careful about where they work out and uh, how they work out because um, um, you know, um, it's different now since um, you know, um, the the surf the the, the, surf, the, the surfication and how uh, 
you know, the, the possibility of a lockout. Um, did you hear, I don't know it to be true yet, we're trying to find out, did you hear that you filed the decertification papers while they were uh, in a room with the um, ownership and they were offering a counterproposal, but the decertification papers were already filed? Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear anything about that. I mean, I, I mean, people people talk a lot, and maybe it's everything you hear, um, Pat, isn't true. You know, maybe well, they're going to document the exact moment. It'll be documented when you filed, and apparently it's going to come back. We're going to find out. You're right. It could be rough here, but they said 4 yeah. o'clock. But I think it was about 4.25 when, when the owners were meeting with the, the union. Oh, I don't, I don't know about that. I mean, I haven't, I haven't, um, I haven't heard that. Um, you know, you might hear it before the day's over. Huh? Yeah. You might hear that before the day's over. I, I, we're going to try to find out, but we've heard one version of that, and we'll be interested to hear the second version of it. What do you think? What were your thoughts on um, they were going to increase the retired player benefit by sixty percent for the pre nineteen ninety three guys? You know those guys that are making four hundred a month, five hundred a month. Jerry Kramer, we had him on earlier. Winston, uh, Green yeah. Bay Packers, eleven years. You know Jerry, yeah. Ice Bowl, Big Block. He gets four uh-huh. fifty a month in pension. Well, that's yeah, what he uh, gets. Would not pay I your think, electrical bill, but you're right. I mean, I think I think it's great that, that I think it's great that the NFL did that. But um, they, uh, I mean, the I mean the overall um, uh, um, um, deal that they offered us. I mean, just just wasn't uh, you know um, good for the um, the future of the NFL and, and and for the players right now. And um, again, you, you can't um, you can't take something away and then offer someone less and then. Uh, you know, give them a little bit and say that's a good deal. I mean, I, I don't, I don't really understand where, um, where um, you guys think that's. I mean, how, how that. We don't think anything, Winston. We're trying to get your side of it. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. But it sounds like um, you guys think that's you know good. You know, but um, here's what uh, I think is good. I'll be on record with you. All I know, Winston, huh? is is what players have made just since I was in the league in '90 and where the salaries have gone, and I know that the value of clubs have gone. Through the roof. Oh, yeah. Uh, Winston, I'm on record. The only thing I think is good is that you kept talking, not that we stopped talking. That is exactly all I cared about. At the end of the sure. day, a deal would get done if you just keep talking. That frustrates me that the talking's over and the courts are in now. People that don't really know football, don't care about football, are going to judge this whole thing now. I'm sorry, they're going to judge the whole thing? You said? Yeah, it's going to go to the courts now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, again, the players aren't asking for it anymore, and we obviously don't mind it going to the courts because we don't feel like we're we're in the, we're we're in the wrong. Uh, the people that uh, don't want to go to court are the people that are, are the that have something to hide, you know. And and we we just we just want the best deal for the players, and, and we just want people to know that it just doesn't affect us, you know. It affects the people that work at the stadiums. It affects uh, uh, the, the people that have you know stores by. The well, stadiums. it affects the two guys you're talking On to. That, uh, yeah, yeah, it, does. it affects it, us. It, 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 I mean, it affects NFL Serious Radio. It does. It affects more than uh, just uh, the players, not us versus the owners. It's just the, you know, the, the um, it's, it's the players and everyone else that's involved in it. And um, we just, we just, we just want to play, and um, we just want to be treated fairly. We just don't want to. And, be and in, your, in your mind, was I'll leave you at this one question. In your okay. mind, you have not been treated fairly since you joined the NFL. Uh, in my mind, uh, so far, no. I mean, uh, no, I haven't. Um, we we also been um, uh, since I've been in the NFL. I mean, we we we've been under one deal. I mean, you know. Um, so no, I, I don't think I don't think we're being treated. I mean, I don't think I was treated fairly. Um, Are you kidding I, me? I mean, I think I was treated fairly. That's that's all right. I'm gonna say that. I was treated fairly. We we were under one deal. So yeah, I was treated fairly. Winston, we'll talk to you again. I can't thank you enough. You've been awesome. Uh, you're an honest guy. I've known you since your college days. Um, yeah, yeah, we, we've known each other for a long time. Yep, and and you know what? This is going to take on a life of its own. I hope, here's what I hope. I hope cool heads prevail and we actually get a deal done someday. Yeah, I mean, I really hope a deal, a deal does get done. I mean, I mean, um, hopefully it, it doesn't take too too long, and hopefully we um, you, you could talk about football and I could play football. Right, and hopefully there will be football next year. Maybe there won't yeah. be. Who knows? Anyway, have a great day, my friend. Thank you, Wilson. Hey, thanks a lot for having me. All right, partner. Tim and Pat with